So, good afternoon. It's Victor Fernandez from Andritsu. Uh, I'm regional wireless specialist for wireless products. Like this one, we are presenting here a connected car demo in collaboration with University of Hertfordshire and also Spectracom providing a GPS simulator. This uh, demonstration tries to show an end-to-end -end connected car application. So basically, Android 8475 is providing the network capabilities for routing the, the diagnostic information and GPS location from the car through the cloud server that we have for tracking all the information at every point in the map. So with 8475, we can simulate any LTE, 3G, 2G network. We can um, analyze the behavior of the application uh, depending on uh, the throughput, depending on the cellular coverage, and also in mobility scenarios. And what we can see here is that this CarFi device is connected to the 8475 through RF, RF wire. So it has the LTE interface and then the 8475 is connected to the cloud server, so the backhaul. So this one is not only the radio access um, interface, but only the backhaul. Right, uh, good afternoon. I'm from uh, Johan Ciel from University of Hertfordshire. Um, I'm a principal lecturer in digital communication electronics, uh, and I also look after the smart systems laboratory at the university. Uh, what we have here is the connected vehicle solutions in partnership with Anritsu and also with Spectacrom. Uh, we mainly developed the application to enable a sort of end-to-end -end solution. So we looked at how we can actually have a vehicle black box ourselves. So we are currently developing a vehicle black box that enables us to actually aggregate information such as the OBD, information from vehicles, uh, positioning data, which is currently simulated by the uh, Spectacrom GPS simulator. And also in terms of network, we're actually using the Anritsu uh, 8475 series to simulate uh, LTE communication. Uh, what it allows us to do as a university and also as a development is to also look at, for example, scenarios. So we can actually play a number of scenarios, uh, changing from LTE to 3G to 2G scenarios, which then allows us to test the product before we actually release it to market. Um, we also build the cloud application that sits at the backend server, so all this information is actually uploaded to the cloud, which then allows us to then pull the information back down again and display that on devices such as a laptop, a tablet, a computer, and also, for example, the touch surface, which we also have at the MWC uh, this year. So thank you very much.